ready to hunt for treasure. Where's the treasure map? We don't have a treasure map, Hoopa. But how will we find buried treasure without a map? Easy. We scan the whole park with our metal detector. The whole park? Yep. Let's go. Okay. Now, it could take a long time before we find any treasure. Treasure! Well, that was quick. Oh, a ring! We found a ring! We're rich, rich, rich! <laughs> We're not rich just yet, Hoopa. It's only a part of the key ring. You mean, this isn't treasure? Nope. Sorry. Okay, let's keep looking. Watch <laughs> out! <laughs> oh. Are you okay? It's hard steering this thing. Whoa! That's a cool bicycle, Moo. This is no ordinary bicycle. It's my mobile ice pop cart. Mmm, ice pops. I'll take four, please. Not yet, you won't. They aren't frozen, but do come back later. <laughs> okay, let's get back to finding that treasure. Ready, steady, hunt! Please. Oh, I'm sorry, Bip. The ice pops haven't frozen yet. I need to fix the machine, but I have all these flyers to give out. Hey, that's clever, having the map on there so everyone can find you. You know what? I'll hand them out for you. Would you? Oh, thank you, Bip. And when you've finished, you can have all the ice pops you can eat. Ha! Huh, you got yourself a deal. All we've found so far is worthless junk. What if there is no treasure in this park? But the hunt itself is a lot of fun. Here, you have a turn. <laughs> hey, Z hey, Ziggy, what's up? Hey, Fever, that's what's up. Every year it's the same. Watery eyes, tickly th throat, and lots of... <laughs> hey, 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 my flyers! This would be so much easier if we had a treasure map. Maps don't just appear by magic, Hoopa. <laughs> Dr. Panda, it's a map. It's a treasure map. Oh, let me see. Look, X marks the spot. Oh, that's near the swimming pool. Let's go. <laughs> Can you remember those colors, Toto? <laughs> Dr. Panda, take a look through your binoculars. Where shall I look? Butterflies fly, so I guess I should look up in the sky? Good thinking, Dr. Panda. Oh, 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 I think I see it. Oh, <laughs> really? This way. <laughs> Hi, Mamie. It's me, Dr. Panda. Dr. Panda? Where are you? Please help me. I've been surrounded by moving bushes. No, it's us. We're dressed as bushes. Oh! Oh! <laughs> For you! Wait, why are you dressed as bushes? Is it a new fashion trend? I didn't know about that. Oh, no. We're looking for a very special butterfly, and we don't want to scare it away. <laughs> have you seen a special-looking butterfly around here anywhere? Yes, I have. Look up there. Oh, gosh. That's very nice, but it's not the butterfly we're looking for. No worries. Let's keep looking. 
It's a hot day, so the butterfly could be thirsty. Maybe we should look where there's water. Good thinking, Dr. Panda. Let's go to the pond. Oh, 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 there it is. Follow me. What's that noise? It's the bushes! Ah! <laughs> Sorry, Ziggy. Oh, gosh. I hope we haven't scared it away. Scared? What do you mean, scared? I wasn't scared. No, not you, Ziggy. We're looking for a very special butterfly. It's purple, pink, and yellow. Have you seen it? No, I've been sunbathing. And if you don't mind, I'll get right back to that. My mistake. <laughs> mm, no worries. Let's keep looking. Any ideas, Leo? Well, just as the butterfly will be thirsty, it will be hungry, too. It especially likes ripe fruit. <gasps> I've got it! Moo's Orchard! There's lots of ripe fruit there! Of course! Good thinking, Dr. Panda! Let's go! I don't remember planting those bushes. Oh, they don't look too perky. I should give them a good drink. <laughs> well, I never. <laughs> Dr. Panda, Leo and Toto, what on earth are you up to? We're looking for a very special butterfly. You haven't seen one around, have you? Oh, I've been far too busy to notice, I'm afraid. All this fruit is going to waste on the ground. You've just given me an idea. Maybe we can help the butterfly to find us and help Moo at the same time. I had eggs for breakfast. Eggs? Hmm. <gasps> Maybe someone yeah. took them. I don't think so. Who would have taken them? Someone who likes carrots, that's who. Oh, I know! June, she loves carrots. But June wouldn't just take them without asking. You know, Moo, sometimes things turn out to be quite different than they seem at first. Anything could have happened. Maybe the baskets have holes. No holes. Has anything else gone missing from the farm? I don't know. I was on my way to collect some apples when I noticed... Oh! <gasps> My apples! Moo! Not my apples, too! I was gonna make my special apple pie! Are you sure there's no thief, Dr. Pander? Not likely. This thief would have to be really tall to reach all the way up there. Olette! She could reach up with her trunk. But Olette is no thief. She would never steal your apples. Now, nope, something else must have happened. So, Moo, when was the last time you saw the apples? Uh, yesterday. Oh, yesterday. Maybe the apples got blown off the tree by a storm. But there wasn't a storm. Okay. Um, oh, maybe you already collected the apples and just forgot? No worries, Moo. We'll solve this mystery together. <laughs> What's this? It's a footprint. Well, whose footprint is it? Don't know yet, but I'm sure things aren't as they seem. <gasps> oh, my. Whoever this thief is, they must still be on the farm. First the carrots, then the apples. <gasps> Where else do you keep food? <gasps> the kitchen! Oh. At least my cupcakes are still here. I made them specially. They're my favorite. So, everything's still here then. Oh, <gasps> my cupcakes! No! Oh no, oh no, oh no! All my food, gone, right from under our very noses. This thief has a big appetite to want so much food. Someone like Hooper. That's ridiculous, Moo. Well, it must have been Bip then. He's fast and he 
He's certainly a bit of a rascal. Bip does like to mess around, but he's no thief. Sometimes things aren't what they seem at first, remember? Ah, a feather! Another clue! Let's look at what we know. First, there were the empty carrot baskets, then the strange footprints by the orchard, and now a feather in the kitchen. Hmm. No worries, Moo. We'll solve this mystery together. <gasps> Listen in the background. We'll solve this mystery together. Have you checked the chickens today, Moo? Oh, my chickens! Oh, no! Oh, no! Someone's taken all my chickens! Remember that things can be very different from what they seem. Maybe the chickens went out for a stroll. I do hope they're all right. Hoopa! Oh, hi, guys. Hey, Hoopa, did you order something from Baboon Building Supplies? My bricks. <gasps> Let me help you. Yay! Is it okay if I take this? Sure, no problem. Thanks, Dr. Panda. What a great service. Oh, look, Toto. Moo's name is on one of the labels. She must have ordered something. Let's go. <laughs> Moo! Moo who? Are you home? I have this package for you, but I don't know which. <laughs> hey, chickens! Hey, chickens! <laughs> <laughs> they can smell the food I ordered for them. Ah, so that's why they were chasing me. Maybe we can use the chicken's excellent sense of smell to work out which package is yours. <laughs> this must be the one. <laughs> Corn, their favorite. Great job, guys. Oh, glad to help. Okay, Toto, only three more packages to go. And look, one of these is for Olette. Hello, Dr. Panda. Do you have my package? I'm sure I do, but I don't know which one it is. Something went wrong at the sorting office and some packages weren't labeled correctly. Oh, no. I have to practice for my basketball game, but I can't do that without the ball I ordered. Oh, <laughs> I think I know which one is your package. Oh, this one. No, uh... Don't you think the ball is in the round package? Oh, not the square one. No, not the square one. <laughs> my ball! Great! You want to stay for a game? Oh, maybe later. We still have two more packages to deliver. One of them is for Mei Mei. Shoo! Let Dr. Panda do his work. So, let's see. Oh, what? Oh! Shoo! Shoo! <laughs> no! That's enough! <laughs> I'm so sorry about my chicken. Ah, uh, no worries, Moo. I think your chicken's just a little bored. <laughs> Here's an idea. Why don't we give her a checkup first? Open wide, please. Let's take a look. Ah, yes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Looking very good. Well done. So, that's it? All done? Yes. You see, there's nothing to worry about. Are you ready for your checkup now, Moo? I, yeah, I think so. Yes. Let's do it. Uh... Great. You see, having a checkup isn't so bad. Uh, 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 
Uh, what was that? Moo says she loves coming to the dentist now. That's right! <laughs> Thanks, Dr Panda! Bye-bye! Oh. <laughs> See you at your next checkup. Um, Dr Panda, you do know that chickens don't even have teeth. <laughs> That's true, Olette. But the chicken's checkup helped soothe Moo's nerves, didn't it? You gave me that idea with your toy shark, Toto. <laughs> <laughs> Toto, doctor. Oh, you want to be an animal doctor now. <laughs> well, that's an adventure for another day. You're listening to Music Mix with Dr. Panda, your favorite music from your favorite bear. Hi, everybody. It's a beautiful day in Panda City. It sure is. It's time to send in your requests. So if there's any song you'd like to hear, let me know and I'll play it for you. Hmm. Oh, I know just the one. To start us off, here's a song called Cutie Panda Beat by Justin Brown Bear. Now, there's a football game on the radio right after my show, Toto, so we have to finish in time. But until then, we'll play some nice music. Ah, at last. A job that doesn't involve lots of running around, huh, Toto? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hello? Hi, Dr. Panda. I heard you on the radio, and I was wondering, can I request a song for someone, please? Great idea, Leo. What do you want me to play? You see, it's June's birthday today. And there's this song she loved when she was a little girl. It's called Fleece Oddity by a fella named David Bae. Okay. Are you sure you can find it? It's quite old. Even June doesn't have a copy anymore. Ah, uh, no worries. I have every song on my computer. Oh, <laughs> great. Thanks. I'm off to the store to buy June a present now. Bye, Dr. Panda. <laughs> Bye, Leo. Ah, lots of requests coming in, Toto. Let's play this one first. Here's a request from Moo oh. and her chickens. This <laughs> is Mad Bull with Get Clucky. Oh, oh no, the song Leo requested isn't on the computer. Uh, hey, yeah. maybe it's on one of the old records in the storage room. <laughs> Uh, uh, that was great! Thanks, Moo! Next up, uh, a uh, song for Hoopa! This is the Rolling Bricks with Fill Me Up! <laughs> oh, that was just in time, Toto! I have until the end of the song to find Leo's record! <laughs> the record we need must be in here somewhere. <laughs> it's a flyer for Moose Ice Pop Cart. Oh. I'll take four, please. Oh, no ice pops today, I'm afraid. The machine is broken. Oh. Uh, I can fix anything. Yep, yep. It seems like you're missing parts. Oh, no. What parts are we missing? Well, we need a nut, a bolt, a pin, a ring, and a few screws. Mo! They must have fallen off on the way over here, and I don't have any spare parts. What is it, Toto? Hey, yeah! Do you think our treasure could help? But those things are not the spare parts of my machine. No, but we could see if they fit. It doesn't hurt to try, right? He's got a point. Yeah. Okay. Ready, steady, fix. I need a ring. A ring. Hmm. Perfect. Now I need a pin. A pin. Oh, will 
this hairpin do? <laughs> Perfect. Done. Let's try it out. Yay! It's working! Hooray! Ice pops for everyone! Yay! Mm, your ice pops sure taste good, Moo. Yeah. yeah! Thanks, everyone! Dr. Panda, maybe next time we can hunt for treasure on a boat! You know, like pirates! <laughs> sure, let me show you how to do it. So, you get the wheel turning at a nice, steady speed. Not too fast, not too slow. Not too fast, not too slow. Got it. You take your ball of clay and put it in the middle. There. In the middle there. Now, you start to shape the clay as it spins. Just use your fingers and don't forget to add a little water. Use your water and add little fingers. Whoa. <gasps> you made a bowl. Yep. Next, we have to bake it in the special pottery oven. Dr. Panda! Oh, Dr. Panda! Oh, I think I've got a customer. I'll be back in a bit. I have lots of things to make today. Sure thing, Dr. Panda! Lots of water, not too slow. Good morning, Richie. No, it's not a good morning at all. You see, I dropped my favorite blue mug. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Let's find you a new one. Uh, oh, what about this? No good, Dr. Panda. That's red. My lunch plate is blue. My dinner plate is blue. My breakfast bowl is blue. My water jug is... Let me guess. Blue? Richie, not everything has to match. You could get different colored things. Oh, that bowl is lovely. And I'd like to look at that jug too, please. No problem. How's it going, Dr. Panda? Great, but I really need to make some more dishes as soon as I've finished with these customers. Leave it to me, Dr. Panda. I've got the hang of it. Speed, water, plenty of fingers. Uh, okay, thanks. Hiya, Dr. P. I need a plate. A big plate. Well, you've come to the right place, Pip. Uh, who? That one. So wheat. Would you like to buy it, Pip? I have to test it first. Oh, uh, wh wh what do you mean, test it? Uh, I need to practice my juggling skills. <laughs> oh, not bad. Not bad at all. Do you have a vase to go with these? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> Ta-da! Done! Time to get these in the oven, Toto. Be careful, Bip. Being as careful as I can, Dr. Banda. Uh, don't you think that plate could break if you do that? Uh oh, yeah. That's why I need a new one. Olette is right. I'll have an orange, no, green lunch plate. <laughs> yes. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, a red, no, a orange dinner plate. And a, um, uh, let me think. Uh, 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 Excuse me, please. Hoopa! Hoopa! Can you bring some more dishes through? I'm running out. No problem, Dr. Panda. I just made a load of new ones. Oh, wait. They aren't ready yet. Any dishes in here? Yes! Coming, Dr. Panda! If the cakes turn out nicely, I might bring some for you later. That'd be awesome! Happy baking, Moo! Thank you! Enjoy your story, Toto.
Okay, let's find out how our hero is... Huh? Wh where's our book gone? Story? Mm, do you want to find another one? Story. Mm, maybe... Oh! Maybe our hero finds a boat to cross the river. <laughs> <laughs> the river is fast and wild, and our little hero has to hang on tight. <laughs> Look out for that rock! <laughs> Phew! Safely on dry land! Now, the little hero is in a strange land. Who knows what creatures he may encounter? Ahem! I've been waiting for help for quite a while now. Oh, Olette! Hi! Uh-oh! Uh a grumpy ogre! What? The ogre stands between our hero and his quest for the treasure. Oh, uh, yes, uh, I'm a big scary ogre. <coughs> Who dares set foot on my land? Oh no! Will the ogre make the hero into soup and gobble him up? I'd prefer a fruit salad. Our brave hero isn't scared. He says, why don't we look for the treasure together and share it? Hmm. Very well. This way. <laughs> oh, no. There are huge boulders blocking our hero's path. Good thing the ogre is strong enough to clear them out of the way. <laughs> upon a ginormous snoring troll. If the troll wakes up, he'll demand we pay him to go through his forest. <laughs> Oops. What do you want? Our hero is on a quest for treasure, but he's lost his map. Ah. Well, uh, to pass through here, you'll have to pay me. Oh. Uh, the hero has no money, but if you will help find the treasure, you too can take a share. Uh. Okay, I'm in. Thanks, Mei, Mei but you don't know the special traffic signals. You can teach me. How hard can it be? Hurry, Dr. Panda! We need to get my chickens back! Okay, here we go. You need to use stop, listen, look, and go. I've got it. Come on, Dr. Panda! My chickens won't catch themselves! Are you sure you'll be all right, Mei Mei? Toto will stay here with you to help. He knows the special traffic signals, too. Yep, don't worry. I'll be fine. Dr. Panda! Don't forget those signals! Let's see, what was stop? I remember stop, listen, look, and go! Perfect! Now a bit faster! Stop, listen, look, and go! Stop, listen, look, and go! <laughs> it's almost like a dance! <gasps> hey, that's an idea! A
what is she doing? A am I supposed to go or, or stop? Go! Oh, I don't know. What's going on here? That doesn't look like what Dr. Panda was doing. Go! No, wait, stop! Uh-oh. That's all of the moo. I need to get back to being a traffic director. Whoa, a traffic jam! And a great big mess! How will we ever fix this? Oh. I dropped my load. I'm sorry, Dr. Panda. I don't know how this happened. I do. May May made all the wrong moves. Instead of this, she did this. No, no, no. It was more like this. <laughs> no, that's nothing like it. It was like this. You mean like this? <laughs> Uh, no. I think it was more like this. Oh, I see. So you turned directing traffic into a dance. Mm-hmm. Sorry. I guess I got carried away. And you made Hooper spill all his bricks. It's going to take ages to sort this out. Not if we all help. And I know exactly how to speed things up. May May? You're going to have to teach us how to do your dance properly. <laughs> Hi, Mei Mei. Are you ready to dance? Absolutely. Ready to get my groove on. <laughs> well, this is a different kind of dance. It's called a waltz. You have to learn the steps, and you'll need a partner. Yep. I've asked Bip to be my partner. He's the best dancer in town. Oh. So, where is he? It's funny. Even though he moves fast, he's always late. No worries. We'll just get started. So, these are the instructions that show you where to put your feet and how to move for each of the dance steps. Um, the instructions look confusing. Let's just try one of the steps and see how it goes. So, this is your left foot, and your right foot goes next to it. And we're supposed to hold each other like this. Okay. Um, then we put our left foot forward and the right foot... <laughs> oh, sorry. It's okay. Let's try again. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yay! <laughs> What's up, peeps? Oh, hi, Bip. Good thing you're here. We were just working out the dance steps. No stress, Dr. P. The Dance Master is in the house! Watch me now! Uh, look at this move! Break it down, break it down, break it down, break it down! That was awesome! Yeah! But the music for the competition is slightly different. I can dance to any type of music! Hit it! Uh, huh? Okay, um, maybe we should learn the steps first. What do you mean, learn the steps? You can't just move however you like to this type of music. Dr. Panda is here to teach us the steps. Mm-hmm. These instructions show where to put your feet and how to move them. Okay, let's do it. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, uh, 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 uh. Oh, uh. oh. That's it, Toto. We followed the instructions perfectly, and now we're done. Done. Play? No, we finished. Let's go find Dr. Panda. Hmm? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Two, three. No, you're supposed to turn this way, not that way. Oh, does it matter? Yes, it matters. Follow the instructions. Okay, let's try again. One, two, three, you want? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. I was trying to follow the instructions. Don't 
worry about the instructions for now. Just try to remember the steps. Hey! Hey! Why are you making all that noise? Hi, Ziggy. We're helping Olette with some gardening. Well, can't you do that some other time? I'm trying to read here. You leave Dr. Panda alone, Ziggy. We'll be working in my garden all day. Actually, your garden could use some work as well, by the looks of it. Work? <laughs> nah. If you want your garden nice and tidy, you'll have to do it yourself. Ha! Ah, sounds like too much work to me. It'll be worth it, though, you'll see. Especially when I plant my new flowers. That reminds me. I have to go to Moose to pick up my new flowers. <laughs> moo! Moo! Hey! Why don't you go get them now? Toto can go with you. He loves the farm. Yay! Ah, he finally stopped. Wow, Olette wasn't kidding. Her lawn does look nice. <gasps> if I had a neatly trimmed lawn like that, I could turn it into a golf course and practice my swing. <laughs> Dr. Panda, I lost my keys in the tall grass, and now I can't get back into my house. Can you help me? <laughs> no worries. If we mow your lawn, I'm sure we'll find your keys. Thanks, Dr. Panda. Yeah, I didn't find your keys, though. Oh, here they are. They were in my pocket all along. <laughs> Silly me. Right. <laughs> Silly you. <laughs> well, I should get back to work in Olette's garden. All you need to do now is rake the lawn. for our pizza toppings. Where's Bip? He said he'd help. I'm sure he's on his way. Why don't you prepare the first pizza base, Olette? I'll start on the tomato sauce. Good idea, Dr. Panda. Uh, oh. Oh. Hi, Hoopa. Hi, Dr. Panda. I'd like to order a mushroom special pizza, please. <laughs> we'll get right on it. Where'd you want it delivered? No, I'm close, so I'll come by to pick it up. Okay, see you soon. <sighs> Alad, our first order's in. A mushroom special for Hoopa. Oh, this is hard. Does it look round enough, Dr. Panda? Oh, yep, looks round enough to me. Oh, I'll work on this side a little more. Hey, hey, what do you say? Who's ready to make a pizza today? Bip, you're late. Am I? So sorry. So, Dr. P, what do you want me to do? Well, um, 
Olette's working on the base. I'm making the tomato sauce. Maybe you could prepare the vegetables. On it, Dr. P. Done. Looking good, Olette. Step aside. Perfecto. Really, Bip, you need to take this more seriously. What's wrong with a bit of fun? Hi, Ziggy. Hello, Dr. Panda. I'd like to order two pizzas, please. The veggie feast and the mushroom special. One veggie feast and one mushroom special coming right up. You know our motto. Our pizzas are always tasty and always on time. Ooh, what if the pizzas are late? Do I get them for free? <laughs> oh, they won't be late. Hey, <laughs> then we have a deal. See you soon, Dr. Panda. And don't be late. <laughs> Two pizzas for Ziggy. And they have to be delivered on time. Then we'll have to move fast. That's what I'm good at. Everything's all right. It's the perfect time to get lucky with you. Hey, Moo! That's a nice song. Oh, <laughs> hello, Dr. Panda. I didn't see you there. <laughs> I get a bit carried away sometimes. <laughs> well, you sounded great. And something smells great, too. Oh, yes! I've made you some cupcakes! As a thank you for looking after my little darlings tonight. Mm. Thanks! Oh, I'm so excited to see my favourite band in concert. We're getting clucky tonight and everything is all right. It's the perfect time to get clucky with you. <laughs> Your chickens seem to like the music too. Oh, yes! But a concert is no place for chickens. And neither is the kitchen. Out you go. These cupcakes are for Dr. Panda. <laughs> oh, you know I don't mind sharing. That's very kind. But they can't have food before bed. It keeps them awake. If they eat any of those cupcakes now, you'll have awful trouble getting them to sleep. Once you've read them a bedtime story, they go into their chicken coop to get cosy for the night. Oh, and make sure all five of them are inside. No worries, Moo. I've got it. Be good for Dr. Panda now, won't you? <laughs> we'll be fine. Have a great time at the concert, Moo. Oh, I will. We're getting clucky tonight and everything is... Oh, remember, don't give him any food. It's time to get clucky with you. And that's how the brave little fairy saved the big giant. Ah, <sighs> right, chickens. Time for bed. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Good night, chickens. Sleep well. Ah, <sighs> chicken sitting is easy. They're so well behaved. Ooh, I think I'll have a cupcake. Toto, would you like a cupcake? <laughs> <laughs> I'll save one for him. Huh? <gasps> hey, chickens! <laughs> Stop that at once! Off you go. Back to bed now. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. What's going on? Ah! Now there are none! Oh, so that's how they got out. Hello? Hoopa, I need your help at Moose Farm. Sure thing, Dr. Panda. I'll be right there. Great 
job. Thanks, Hoopa. No problem. Easy fix. Toto, that looks great. I've just finished my ice sculpture. Want to see what I've made? Uh-huh. <gasps> wow! Chicken! That's right. It's a chicken. Do you like it? <laughs> wow! What happened? Oh, hi, Hoopa. What if most chickens has turned to ice? No, no. I made it out of a block of ice. Oh, wow! An ice chicken! How smart! Oh, what a great choice for your ice sculpture, Dr. Pander! It's wonderful! It looks just like them! Glad you like it, Moo. But now I need you to help me with something else. I've got lots of flavors, and I need your help pouring them into the molds. Then I can freeze them in my cart. No worries, Moo. Great! There's no time to lose before the opening. Hoopa, can you make sure the ice sculpture stays in the shade to keep it from melting? Sure! Leave it to me, Dr. Panda. Thanks. Just follow the shadow. the last one. Do you think we've made enough? <laughs> we've made plenty. And there's even jelly left over. Oh, what are we going to do with it all? Let's go and get the ice sculpture. Then we'll figure it out. Look, Toto. These are the seeds. We plant them in the ground, and in time, they grow into vegetables that we can eat. Yay! to plant this row again. There's something in Moo's barn that we can use to keep the birds away. Uh, let's see. Ah. Whoops. Hmm. This gives me an idea. Look, Toto, I've made a scarecrow. <laughs> Hopefully, it'll fool the birds into thinking there's someone here. You reckon it'll work? Oh. Ah. 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 <laughs> 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 then, 
<laughs> shoo, birds, shoo! Oh, uh, they're more scared of me than the scarecrow. Hey, maybe I can make it look more like me. the scarecrow because it stays still. her chickens. Of course. Well, I want to give her a big, big photograph of them all. It'll be the best present ever. No problem. But we have to do it before she gets back from the market or it'll spoil the surprise. Okay, let's get started. Oh, wait. First, I have to make the background look just right. It all looks good to me, Mamie. Scarecrows are very on trend, but they can be a bit messy. Oh, I'll help with the flowers. There. They look great. Um, yeah. Why don't you let me take care of this and maybe you could, um, oh, move that hay bale out of the way, please. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, feather check. Your camera ready. Time for your photograph, chickens! Come on, let's round them up. We have to get them together. Moon will be back soon. Hmm, this could be tricky. La 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 I've got it! I'll take their photograph while they're watching Toto! La 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 That looks perfect! Now, Dr. Panda! Perfect! Great work, Dr. Panda. Ah, thanks. I think the best photograph is... Quick! We must have the photograph ready before Moo gets home, or it'll spoil the surprise. Oh, uh, okay. I'll be back soon. Super soon! <laughs> okay, I've got it! Oh, let me see, let me see! Wow, it's amazing! I can't wait for Moo to see it! Hey, chickens, come and take a look at your photograph! 
Oh, Wait! What? What's the trouble? One of the chickens is missing. Uh, they always go missing. No worries. We'll find her. But I was supposed to look after them. We can't lose one. Oh, <laughs> I think I know where it is. <laughs> no! Moose poster! Oh, no! It's completely ripped! No worries, May May. Maybe we can stick the missing piece back in place. That's impossible. Look. I could print out a new one. No, we don't have time. Moo will be back really soon. Meow. The surprise is ruined. Hmm. Right on time, Dr. Panda. I was just about to have my breakfast. Hi, Olette. Where do you want your milk? Oh, in the kitchen, please. Breakfast is my favorite meal of the day. And I've been looking forward to pouring this fresh, cold milk over my cereal. Hey, why isn't the milk coming out? Hmm? Oh, no. I think the milk might have gotten a little too cold. I'm sorry, Olette. It's frozen. Frozen? What? Now what am I going to have for my favorite meal of the day? <gasps> oh, I know. Would you like some strawberries? <gasps> strawberries? I love strawberries. You have strawberries, Dr. Panda? I sure do. Freshly picked this morning. Follow me. Phew. Uh-oh. Oh, no. What's wrong? Uh, the strawberries are all squashed. That must have been the noise we heard. Squashed strawberries and frozen milk. Well, how is that supposed to make a tasty breakfast? I have an idea. Olette, how do you feel about a strawberry milkshake? For breakfast? Really? This is the best strawberry milkshake I have ever tasted. Oh! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Come on up, Toto. Watch in amazement as I send Toto from this box to that box and back again using only the power of magic. Okay. This magic hat will help Toto on his magical journey. Ready, Toto? Remember, just like we practiced. <laughs> Abracadabra! Oh. Oh. <laughs> How did you do that? And now, I shall make Toto reappear! Abracadabra! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Now I will magically send Toto back to the first box. Abracadabra! <gasps> Abracadabra! Oh. <laughs> Dr. Panda! What? Oh, um... 
Are you sure you said the magic words right, Dr. Panda? I believe so, Hoopa. Abracadabra! No. <laughs> no worries. Sometimes magic can take a little while to work. You'll have to take over, Hoopa. I need to find Toto. Good luck! Hmm? Oh, wait, what? Huh? <gasps> Hi. Uh, how about a card trick? A trick a lot. <laughs> Toto! Toto! <laughs> there! <laughs> Is this your card? Uh, no. How about this one? No. This one? Nuh uh. <laughs> Toto, there you are. Come on, we need to finish the magic trick. Toto hat. I will now pull these rings apart using magic. Acrab a doo. Acrab a doo. Acrab a doo. Acrab a doo. do you go. Wow, that's impressive. Is this part of the show? I don't know. Yes, got it. Listen, chickens, this hat isn't really magical. But maybe you could help us finish our magic trick. <laughs>